Cancer is often called the silent killer because there are few early warning signs or symptoms and there's no sure way to prevent it. But there are things you can do to help lower your risk. That includes getting screened. And here to tell us more about that is Dr. Bavia Akari with Mercy Gastroenterology Clinic. Thanks for joining us here today. Thank you for having me here today, Jackie. And we hear a lot about colon cancer screening. What does that involve? So, you know, there are several tests available for screening. Uh, the best one by far is the screening colonoscopy in which uh, a gastroenterologist will use a camera device to look into the colon and uh, check for polyps or lesions. Uh, the other tests available are uh, certain stool-based tests which are looking at uh, checking for blood in the stool or some DNA changes in the DNA. Uh, there's also a special CT scan that's available that can also be used for this purpose. Who should get screened and at what time? So um, if uh, for average risk uh, people, uh, everyone starting at age 45 uh, should start the 45 screening. 45 is the magic number, yeah. 45 is the new 50, so it used to be 50 years before, but uh, recently the guidelines have been updated and it's been changed to 45 years. Um, for people who have additional risk factors, they should talk to their doctor to see if they need to start even sooner than age 45. We hear a lot about getting a colonoscopy. Can you explain what happens during that procedure? Sure. So on the procedure day, um, once the bowel prep is complete, uh, patients come in, they're uh, given sedation uh, so that they're comfortable and they are asleep during the procedure. Subsequently, the gastroenterologist will insert a special camera device into the colon, get a good look of the colon, uh, biopsy or remove any lesions you know that they need to uh, remove. Um, subsequently, after procedure, they have a recovery time for 30 to 60 minutes. People go home. Uh, they are back. Most of the people are back uh, to their like original pre-procedure diet. And then the next day, they go back to their normal activities. And if polyps or anything is detected in a colonoscopy, what is the next step? So the next step is uh, like during the procedure, those polyps or lesions are either removed if they're small enough. Um, sometimes uh, when they're not removable, they're biopsied and then those samples are tested in the lab. And besides screening, what other ways can, what are some things people should do to reduce their risk of colon cancer? So the biggest one I would say is, you know, being physically active, having a healthy lifestyle, eating a healthy, a balanced diet, high fiber, lots of fruits and vegetables, uh, not smoking, not drinking. Uh, those are some big things. Maintaining a normal body weight. Um, yeah. Some great advice. Dr. Akari, thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me again. And stay with TV9. We'll be right back.